Today's going to be a video on DIY Starbucks fall drinks, and some of them are cold and uh, hot. But I really hope you guys enjoy. And if you did, hit that thumbs button and subscribe. Um, you know, I've been trying to film this video for a long time, and I'm just really happy that it's finally here. And I really do hope you guys like it. And I'm telling you guys right now, these drinks are to die for. And I don't know why I've never made these before. But again, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get started. What you're going to need for this drink is milk, canned pumpkin, vanilla ice cream, pumpkin spice, whipped cream, and a mug or a cup. What you're going to do first is pour one cup of milk into your blender. Grab half a cup of vanilla ice cream. and half a cup of canned pumpkin. Now you can blend it all up, and here I'm just using a different kind of blender, but you guys can just use the original one you have. You can pour that into your cup and add whipped cream, pumpkin spice, and if you guys don't have pumpkin spice, you can mix cinnamon, cloves and nutmeg and that will just make pumpkin spice and then you're done what you need for your second drink is hot chocolate powder caramel syrup sea salt and a cup what you're gonna do first is pour your hot chocolate into your cup and if you have a keurig you can just use that or you can boil some water and just pour that into your mixture. And then you're going to mix it up so it's all nice and blended. Here I'm just adding some sea salt and then you want to mix that up again. And then add some whipped cream. Lastly, just some caramel syrup and some pumpkin spice to top it off, and then you're done! For the last drink, you need some dark roast coffee, chocolate syrup, chocolate chips, and a cup. You're going to start off by making some coffee in your Keurig on the lowest setting. For the last DIY Starbucks drink. It's a Java chip wrap and you guys have to make coffee in a curry cup But if you guys don't have that you guys can boil water on the stove and then do it from there And then put it in the freezer for five minutes or in the fridge for ten and then follow the same instructions afterwards When it's out of the fridge you can add some chocolate chips on the bottom and pour your coffee in then add your chocolate syrup and your whipped cream then chocolate syrup and whipped cream, and then you're done. Enjoy! I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs button and subscribe down below. Um, that would mean a lot to me. And if you guys haven't followed me on my social media, it's down below and coming up. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!